All right, hello everyone. So in this video, I bought this portable uh, monitor. I think that's what it's called. Portable monitor that I bought from Amazon. Um, so I bought it because I only I have one monitor where I record videos and. I really can't see like the OBS uh, program. I can't see if it's recording or if it stopped recording, uh, you know. So I bought this so that I can put it on the side and then I can uh, have two screens and one can be uh, for OBS. I can uh, have, uh, you know, it running and I can see uh, if I need to change anything or if it's working or not recording at all. Uh, and I bought this one because it was on sale for $79. Uh, that was a good, pretty good price. It is a 1080p. Uh, it says it's IPS. I don't know if it's uh, for reals or not. You know, sometimes there's stuff on Amazon that's always fake. They always, you know, have false descriptions. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I'm going to hook it up to my laptop. And uh, see if uh, how, how it works. Okay, let's go and open it up. I know I don't know if this one is battery has a battery power or it has to be powered on. Um, I know that I saw some on Amazon that uh, you can like it has a battery in it, so you just charge it and then you can use it. I should have looked into that. I don't know if this one is, but I'm not really thinking of uh, or planning on you know going outside with this at all. Mostly inside. Almost looks like uh, an Apple product, all the white, you know. All right, let's open it up. Come on. All right, there it is. Nice, you know, packaging right here. I don't know how to pronounce this. R Zopa. I don't know. There you go. Let me put that to the side. All right, here it is. It is, I believe. On top of my, on the top of my head, I think it's a 14-inch uh, display, uh, but uh, I can be wrong. I'm gonna show you the Amazon page, uh, and then you can, then we'll uh, confirm the specs. Actually, I just got this right now, so I'm just unboxing and recording the video. Uh, so, oh, it looks really nice, actually. It's got like this leather texture cover, so it protects the entire screen. That's nice. You got your, uh, you know, your, your stuff here, power button, volume, up and down, audio. Uh, let's see. Oh, on this side we got, oh, we got mini HDMI. Okay, I actually thought this was a full-size HDMI. Uh, I don't think I have a display. I think it comes with a display. Oh, it comes with the, oh, okay. Um, never mind. Okay, it comes with everything that you actually need, so... Uh, let me put this to the side and then, you know, show you the accessories. All right, here's a manual. It's always important to read manuals because uh, you never know if you can mess something up. So it says here, with Type C, you connect a computer, a computer to a monitor. Type C to Type C, PC to laptop uh, with HDMI port. Uh, Okay, yeah, you can use that too. Or HDMI to mini HDMI, okay. You can connect your phone, other devices, and a PS4, a PS4, it looks like it. And it's what's included in the box. One USB-C to USB-A, mini HDMI to HDMI cable, uh, USB-C to USB-C, and a wall charger. Cool. So it looks like this probably does have a battery since there's a charger with it. There's the power brick or the wall charger. A little power supply. Uh, it is a, it outputs at five volts, three amps, fifteen watts. Cool. Let's get into the cables. I was not expecting this to have all these accessories. You know, nowadays when you buy something from like a big uh, company, they only give you like the product. They don't give you anything else. Like for example, Samsung. I just Every time I get their phones, it's like literally a charger and the phone, that's it. There's no other cool accessories that they used to add. Anyways, I'm just 
you know saying it's really nice that they give you all this though for $70 that's pretty nice all right so here's your type C to type A cable cool and then we got another cable here this is type C to type C as you can see cool and then we got HDMI to a mini HDMI that's pretty cool I actually thought that I needed to buy this uh, in order to use it but it already came included so that's pretty cool all right let me put this all to the side and let's start connecting stuff I got my laptop right here. Go ahead and turn it on. It's got a fingerprint, that's pretty cool. Barely works sometimes, but anyways. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, let's see. It looks like it opens up from here. Oh, come on. Oh, it looks like it's magnetic. Oh, that's nice. This, is ve this feels very high quality. Look at that, thin. IPS. Hopefully it is really IPS. Oh. Oh, it just comes off. Well, there you go. That is a really small. It looks like the size of uh, my laptop. A little bigger than my laptop, but hey, that's pretty. That's pretty nice right there. So it is IPS, ultra wide viewing angles. It's got HDR. Damn, that's a lot of cool stuff in this monitor for eighty dollars. Full HD, ultra light. And then, you know, Type-C, Ultra Portable. Yeah, I guess you can carry this pretty much anywhere. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Wow. Look at that pretty monitor. Cool. All right, let me... Okay, I don't know how to set this up to make it stand up. Um, okay. Uh... Oh my god, what is what am I doing? Do I gotta bend this? See, this is why you gotta use the manual. I don't know how to use this. Um Yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'll be I'll be right back. Alright, so it turns out that I did it completely wrong. We have to actually put it back. How it was so I think that it was like this and then this closes like that okay so so this is like so this is how it was before I think yep so like this and I opened it from the back uh, the manual so let's open it from the front actually so you just flip it over and around and then that's how you can stand it like that pretty cool let me go ahead and stand it right here bam look at that that's nice right there all right let me go ahead and plug it into my laptop uh, my laptop does have a full-size HDMI cable and a type C uh, this type C to type C uh, cable that we can try too. so I'm gonna try both of them just to test out uh, but let's just try the more uh, you know normal one I guess I don't know what's normal but you know, HDMI is pretty common, you know. Alright, I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to plug this in to the monitor. Portable monitor. To the back right here. Bam, I did not... You know, I'm going to be honest, I did not know a mini HDMI was a thing. Oh yeah, I got to turn it on too. Okay, uh, where's the power button? Okay, so the power button's right here. Power buttons right here. I'm gonna power it on. I don't know if I gotta hold it or just press it. Maybe gotta hold it. Damn, see, this is why you read the manual. Gosh, let me go get the manual back. Okay, bam. Um, okay, turning key, power return key. Uh, actually, the manual doesn't say how to turn it on. I guess I just gotta use common sense. Maybe I'm gonna have to hold it. Alright, let me go ahead and hold it. 
Might be holding it, we'll turn it on. Maybe it's dead? Hmm. Alright. Uh, maybe it's dead. Let me go ahead and charge it. Plug it into the wall. Alright, I got power. Let me go ahead and plug it in. To one of these. I think it... I think it's a dual function. It displays out and you can charge. Alright. Oh, there it is. There you go. Look at that. That looks nice right there. Alright, let me go ahead and set it up so that you can see both the monitor and the portable key. Uh, port the, the computer and the portable monitor. Alright, remove this and. This. Awesome, look at that. Okay, let me increase the brightness of my uh, monitor, uh, my laptop right here. My laptop. I don't remember if it was IPS or not, but uh, we're gonna compare brightness because this is pretty much almost a laptop uh, screen, I believe, just in a portable form. Uh, let's see, how do I increase brightness? All right, that's the maximum brightness for my laptop. Off the bat, the portable monitor has way more brightness. It's not a touchscreen, my laptop is, but uh, it's not a touchscreen. Let me see if I can change it to uh, extend not duplicate duplicate Keep, uh, let's see the settings we got with the second monitor all right okay, HDR it does support HDR but we don't want I don't want to mess with that at the moment let me see I will test it out just not right now uh, let's see okay yeah it is uh, 1080p 1920 by 1080. Let's see what the refresh rate is. I believe you can set it to 60. Yeah, 60 hertz right there. Bam, 60 hertz. My laptop is at full brightness. I, as you saw, I put full brightness. The portable monitor definitely is a lot brighter and it looks a lot sharper to me. Uh, the icons just look way better, more crisp. I would want this to be my actual monitor, my laptop screen. I'm gonna go ahead and play a video and then you guys can see uh, like the difference in quality. Let me go ahead and put a video right, right now. So now they're playing a video. I don't know if you can tell from just my camera, but from my perspective, the portable monitor does look a lot better in my opinion. The colors are just really good although it feels a little stuttery than the laptop just a bit stutter I don't know if you can tell but it's a little bit stuttery um, like I said it's gonna be really 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 tough for you to see if like through my camera like the actual quality of the monitor but it works it looks great and like I said it looks great it looks quality is a lot better than my laptop for sure um, all right let me go ahead and try the display uh, sorry the type C to type C uh, from my laptop to the monitor see if that works all right now they're both plug now the laptop is plugged in via type C to the portable monitor with a type C cable and it looks basically the same like I said, the quality on this one looks so good. I cannot stop saying that. It, it's probably because it's an IPS panel. Probably my laptop is not. But the colors and the, everything just looks so good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try HDR. I'm gonna plug this into my computer. Um, that's a that has a more powerful, you know, CPU and GPU just to display the HDR. So. Um, you can connect your phone, but I have my phone recording now, so I really can't test it out. Um, but let, yeah, let me go ahead and show you the HDR on the monitor, and then I'll show you uh, it compared to my laptop's HDR. Or uh, uh, compared to a non-HDR display. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so this is HDR. I don't know if you can see the difference, but to be honest... 
I guess this one looks a lot brighter in the image than this one's a little darker. As you can see, this is HDR. There's HDR in the portable monitor, regular laptop. There you go. Let me see if I can put them together a little bit. So another cool thing that I just found out is that the portable monitor has a speaker. Uh, so that's that's pretty good right there. So as you can see, it looks just like a little washed out with HDR enabled. Yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't... I don't know the like the full quality of HDR yet. I have I have never used HDR uh, like when I play games or when I watch videos. Usually, I just you know they're not in HDR, so I don't know. Maybe this is like entry level HDR. Maybe it's like you know basic HDR, and then like really good HDR is gonna be unbelievable. And uh, but yeah, that is um, that is the portable monitor with. Uh, HDR against a non a non HDR uh, video. Like I said, this was eighty dollars. It came with a lot of accessories to plug into this monitor. As you saw, I plugged in HDMI to Mini HDMI, uh, Type C to Type C. Uh, you can connect your phone to it. Pretty much anything, and I believe you can charge it. All right, let me close my laptop. Let me up these videos um so yeah that is basically it for this um let me go ahead and unplug this i don't know if it actually has battery or not i don't know if it's charging um i don't know if you ha it has to be plugged in at all times um but um you know once you remove the the power cable I don't think it charged anything. But anyways, I know there are some models on Amazon that uh, have a battery, internal battery. But I don't think mine has it. I'll have to double check. Um, I have a link in the description if you want to check this out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this portable monitor, let me know. Like I said, it was $8. I needed it to, you know, as an extra monitor when I'm recording videos so I can see what uh, what's going on. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good one.